YouTube, hope everybody out there is having a fantastic reality. I am back with another banger for you guys. Hope you are enjoying this content. I really appreciate all the love, the likes, the comments, the subscribers. Thank you guys. Keep running things up. We're only going up. So look, guys, incredibly important topic and one that is very valuable for you, whether you are on semen retention, whether you're on your spiritual journey, whether none of that applies to you this can still be a topic that is beneficial to you. And we're talking about purpose today. And I find that many people in today's reality struggle with having a, def a defined purpose for themselves. If, if they were to write down their purpose in a, in, on a journal, they would struggle immensely to come up with things that you know, they're passionate about and things that they can genuinely place as this is my purpose. So realize guys that it, you know, you, there's a lot of, a lot of self-reflection, a lot of work, a lot of shadow work, a lot of internal work that it's going to take to understand yourself to reach a certain purpose. But you'll find that when you do have a definitive purpose in your life, it's very easy to say yes and say no to anything that presents itself in your life. Because if it does not align with your overarching purpose, there's no reason for you to be um, engaging in any activity or consuming anything that is with that, that is outside of your purpose whatsoever. You guys get what I'm saying. So look, obviously prior to semen retention, I had no direction. I had no purpose. I was depressed. I was lost. And that is a very good way that I do believe to describe a lot of people in today's world is lost. And, you know, a lot of them probably are working a job that they might think is you know, good for them. Eventually they'll make some money. But at the end of the day, there's something missing in that person's life. And I found that I was very lost prior to semen retention. And we're going to get metaphysical here today when talking about this topic, because I do believe that a hermetic principle as above, so below, very much so hits the nail in the coffin on this explanation of how semen retention can connect you to your purpose. Now, those of you who do not know what as above, so below is, I like to explain it in easier terms to digest as, as within, so without, meaning that your internal frequency and vibration and your internal reality, the things that you believe about yourself, the, the things that you feel about the world, the direction you see your life heading, that is going to reflect in your actual reality. And a lot of us are subconsciously tuning ourselves to a certain frequency, tuning ourselves maybe to fear, maybe to regret, maybe to shame. There's, that's a common frequency in today's world. And when you are tuning yourself to those certain frequencies, you are going to get those negative results in your life. So look guys, with this realization, I made the change, and obviously I didn't know about this until I started semen retention, and two years after I began semen retention, I figured all of this out, or I, I came to understand it, right? So look, the reason semen retention connects you to your purpose is that for the longest time, pre-semen retention, I was very lost. I had no direction. And I was very distracted. And that's the key here, is that so many are very distracted, so distracted that they don't even have time to analyze themselves. And I talk about meditation, and you should be meditating daily. But this is a very good way to also gain some self-awareness. Allow your mind to think of all the day-to-day -day things that had happened. Allow you to get into that meditative state where you sort of checklist everything off for your day and say, yes, you know, all of this 
blah, blah, blah has been accomplished, whatever the case is, okay? However you want to meditate, you do that. But through this internal reflection, and I do believe there is a metaphysical effect that semen retention has where it allows you to focus on you. It's like the energy was being released outside of you for such a long time, and now energetically you make the choice to conserve that energy within and by doing that act I find you have now the ability to become hyper aware of you become hyper aware of the reality that you might be creating outside of yourself and you almost gain levels of consciousness to be able to understand the workings of the universe better and through this practice and through the self-reflection, the meditation, and real quick, I do want to make a quick point about transmutation of sexual energy before I lose my place. You must be transmuting your sexual energy, otherwise it is pooling in your lower areas. You can transmute energy by flexing your pelvic floor and sending the spinal fluid upwards. You can also transmute energy through art through video creation, any sort of creation, you know, utilizing the energy through the gym, through a sport, through uh, your job, whatever the case may be, okay? So that was a quick side note, and I think one that is very important. If you guys would like me to make a more in-depth commentary on that, I can totally do a transmutation of sexual energy video to give you guys the in-depth rundown about all that so let me know in the comments below if you are interested in that topic we can go in depth on that but as we were talking about you begin to understand self through this process and it does take time you're going to be able to understand you to a certain point where you know what will make you happy you know what the things are that you need to create a life for you that you would really truly love to live. And I found that I know my direction in life now through my semen retention journey. This played a huge role in me discovering my true purpose. I know where I need to go and I'm envisioning my life moving in that direction and God knows I would have never had this realization if I had been stuck in the matrix mindset stuck in the slide the slit the slave mindset holy moly if I had been trapped in that way of thinking trapped in spewing my energy releasing all of the time I would have never gained this insight so for those of you who may feel lost and, and may feel like you have nowhere to go, you don't know what you like, you know, you're distracting yourself on a day-to-day -day basis, you're stuck in a cycle, right? You feel yourself repeating patterns in your life. Make a change internally and watch the effect and the amazing ability of your body, this vessel that you've been gifted, on its ability to guide you to the right place and its ability to, to really do the self-reflection. So I hope really truly that something, some little bit of information can be taken out of this for you guys. I really truly want to help you. I really truly want to see you guys prosper like I have been prospering through my semen retention journey. Leave a comment, like, share, comment, subscribe, do everything you can guys. Run this video up. I really appreciate all the support. I'm making these to give you guys insights or things that you can do in your own life to improve it and I truly feel that semen retention will connect you to your purpose you must be transmuting the energy you must be going within you must be doing the work and that's the key okay as we said with the pooling of energy you can't allow this to happen 
your semen retention benefits are going to fall off considerably if you allow that to happen. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. You know what to do. Peace.